For many thousands of years, the Shadow Men have protected the world of the living against threats.
Mikey, what's up? You're looking more peaked than you usually do. It's Nettie. She's fallen into a coma. Ah, I'm not surprised. She was always one for more than a drop of the hard stuff. Never knows when to stop. I tell you, she used to go like the clappers down the old white horse in. Jonty, will you listen? The prophecy is coming true. Nettie used Eclipse Aid to give me my shadow powers when confronting the five. Now the shadow has fallen, and the prophecy is about to be fulfilled. It seems to me that everything I do just brings us nearer to Apocalypse, to the end of all things. Will you get a bloody grip on yourself, Michael? Nettie may be something of a head case, but she knows what she's doing. She knew this would happen. It's supposed to happen. Can't you see that? That's the thing about prophecies. They have a habit of coming true. All right, all right. But it seems to me that somehow I'm responsible for everything that's happening. Maybe I should just get out now before it's too late. I never saw you as a giver up, Michael. And even if we are in a situation of damned if we do and damned if we don't, it's always better to go out fight. Get as many of them dark souls as you can, build up your shadow powers till you're positively bursting with them, and then go and kick the arse or whatever's behind this. I really can't give you any more advice than that. Once again, Jaunty. I find myself in your debt. Your advice is sound. I shall do as you say. And look, if it all goes belly up, you can come back here and kick me ass from here to Hades. And if it doesn't, and we win the day, I'll be buying you that drink. Even if you are an annoying, half-witted, skull-headed snake. Ah, flattery will get you everywhere, Shadow Man. They'll be off with you. <laughs>